वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल फिजिक्स फॉर मेडिकल एंड इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनिक वेव्स बाय पिजोलेट्रिक ऑसिलेटर इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड अ डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अल्ट्रासोनिक वेव्स बाय मैग्नोस्टिक्शन ऑसिलेटर द मेन ड्रॉबैक ऑफ मैग्नोस्टिक्शन ऑसिलेटर इज बाय यूजिंग दिस ऑसिलेटर वी कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस अल्ट्रासोनिक वेव्स ऑफ अ फ्रिक्वेंसी मोर देन थ्री मेगा हर्ट्स सो टू प्रोड्यूस अल्ट्रासोनिक वेव्स ऑफ अ फ्रिक्वेंसी मोर देन थ्री मेगा हर्ट्स पिजोलेटिक ऑसिलेटर इज यूज सो लेट से हाउ पिजोलेटिक ऑसिलेटर इज वर्क दिस ऑसिलेटर वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पिजोलेटिक इफेक्ट द वर्ड पिजोलेटिक इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड पिजिन विच मीन्स टू स्क्वीज और प्रेस एंड पिजो विच इज ग्रीक फॉर पुश एंड ऑब्वियसली इलेक्ट्रिक मीन्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड नाउ लेट सी what is what is the principle of piezoelectric effect with its brief history in the year of 1880 french scientists and brothers pierre and jacques curie discovered piezoelectricity they found that when a mechanical stress either in the form of compression or stretch is applied to the mechanical axis on a certain material then a potential difference is developed across the electrical axis and this phenomena is known as piezoelectric effect so here you can see when you compress or stress this material a voltmeter indicate deflection which shows that potential difference is developed across the circuit the curie brothers soon discovered the inverse piezoelectric effect it was after they verified that when an alternating electric field is applied to electrical axis expansion or contraction take place in the mechanical axis and the phenomena now known as inverse piezoelectric effect so when you apply mechanical stress the charges are developed on the another two side of the crystal and when you apply electric field shape deformation take place thus these crystals can both transmit as well as receive the sound while curie brothers discovered the piezoelectric effect in the year of 1880s it wasn't utilized for ultrasonography until a few decades later one of their students paul lagwin was commissioned by the french government to develop technology to detect enemy submarines his studies become the base for what was to later known as sound navigation and ranging uh, that is sonar which was developed extensively in world war 2 nowadays many electronic devices use piezoelectricity for example when you use some type of voice recognition software or even siri on your smartphone or microphone that you are speaking into is probably using piezoelectricity that piezo crystal turns the sound energy in your voice and changes it into electrical signal for your computer or your phone to interpret that all becomes possible with piezoelectricity Now let's see what is piezoelectric crystal. So the crystal which produce piezoelectric effect and converse piezoelectric effect are termed as piezoelectric crystal. For example, quartz, tourmaline, rock salt, etc. A typical example or a piezoelectric crystal is shown in figure. It has a hexagonal shape with a pyramid attached at both ends. now it consists of three axes first optic axis or z axis so the line which join the edge of this pyramid is known as the optic axis or z axis the second one is electric axis or x axis so the line which join that corner of the hexagon is known as the x axis or electrical axis and the third one is mechanical axis or y axis so the line which join the side of that hexagon is known as the y axis or mechanical axis now cutting of the crystal so there are two ways by which you can cut the crystal x cut and y cut crystal so first one is x cut crystal so this one is the x axis that is the line which join the corner of that hexagon is known as the x axis and when you cut the crystal perpendicular to this axis then it is known as the x cut crystal 
Generally, X-cut crystals are used to produce longitudinal ultrasonic waves. And the second one is Y-cut crystal. So, this one is the Y-axis. The line which joining the uh, side of that hexagon is known as the Y-axis. And when you cut the crystal perpendicular to this axis, then it is known as the Y-cut crystal. And generally, Y-cut crystal produce transverse ultrasonic waves. Now let's see the construction of a piezoelectric oscillator. So this one is the circuit diagram of a piezoelectric oscillator. An X-cut or Y-cut quartz crystal is placed between the two metallic plate A and B so as to form a parallel plate capacitor with the crystal as the dielectric. The electrodes are connected to the coil L3 which is inductively coupled to coils L1 and L2 of the transformer. The coil L2 is connected to the collector part of that NPN transistor and the coil L1 is connected to that base part of this NPN transistor. The frequency of the oscillator circuit is adjusted by the variable capacitor C1 which is connected across the coil L1 and a battery is connected in the circuit that act as a source. So this one is the construction part of piezoelectric oscillator. Now let's see how this oscillator work. Now when the battery is switched on, an oscillating current is produced by the collector of the transistor. This current is passed through coil L1 and an EMF is induced in a coil L2. This induced EMF is mutually inducted to coil L3 due to transformer action. Now the electrode receives this alternating EMF and the crystal placed between the electrodes experience this oscillating force. Now the crystal is thrown into vibration due to inverse piezoelectric effect and the crystal vibrates with a larger amplitude due to resonance and thus high power ultrasonic waves are produced from the ends of the crystal. Now the condition for resonance is frequency of the oscillator circuit is equal to the frequency of the vibrating crystal. So the frequency of the oscillating circuit is given by F1 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root L1 into C1 and the frequency of the uh, vibrating crystal is given by F2 is equal to P by twice L under root Y by rho where P is the 1, P is equal to 1, 2, 3 etc for fundamental that is first overton, second overton etc. Y is the young modulus of the crystal, rho is the density of the crystal and L is the length of the crystal. So in this way piezoelectric oscillator is work. Now advantages of the piezoelectric oscillator. So by using this piezoelectric oscillator we can produce ultrasonic waves of a frequency up to 500 MHz. The output power is very high and is not affected by the temperature and humidity. It is more efficient than the magnostriction oscillator. The bit of the resonance curve is very small so we can get a stable and constant frequency of ultrasonic waves. And the disadvantages are the cost of the quartz crystal is very high. Cutting and shaping, uh, uh, shaping the crystal is quite complex. So I hope you understand the construction and working of piezoelectric oscillator. So if you have any question or suggestion, do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.